Hello everyone, this is video number 18 in my etiquette series and today I would like to talk about how to either stop gossip or to change the direction of a conversation if people are gossiping about somebody and you do not feel comfortable. Okay, so this question came from one of our amazing community members asking me that if she's at a luncheon with her girlfriends and people start gossiping about somebody else that is not present, how does she stop the conversation or change the subject or redirect the conversation? So this is a great question. So I would like to start by saying, as a woman, and for other women, we should be bringing ourselves up. We should be elevating ourselves. We should be supporting each other as women. As we know, um, it's not necessarily easy. And so we should really try to support and be supportive of one, one another, not tearing each other down. So we should be our best champions because even though we may come from different backgrounds, different countries, different religions, different situations, there are many things as women that unite us and we could be so much stronger if we are supporting each other. So that's the first thing I would say, just kind of as a caveat there. Okay, so how do you handle this situation? Okay, so my, my suggestion is you can go one of two routes. The first one is direct and the second one is more on the trying to redirect the conversation. So the first would be, you can say to the person that's, for example, let's use the example that somebody's saying that maybe Maria has gained quite a bit of weight. Have you seen how heavy she looks? Which is really unkind to say. Even if you're thinking it, even if it is the truth, it doesn't serve any purpose to say that, but people are gossiping. Right, okay, so then what do you say? Well, you can say, you know, that's an interesting comment, so you acknowledge the comment, but you say, Maria isn't here to defend herself. We don't know what's going on in her life. It's really not kind to say that. Can we please talk about something else? Or you can say, you know, I don't really think that that's very kind. Maybe she has something going on in her life. Can we please talk about something else? Or just, you know, I'd like to not speak poorly about her. She's not here to defend herself. Or if you do know that maybe there's something going on, you can say, and you do not want to break Maria's confidence if she gave you something in confidence, but you just want to say, you know, she has some things that are really difficult in her life right now. So please, could we not contribute to that by speaking poorly behind her back? It's really not kind or gracious. Okay, so that's the first tactic. And I realize that might be a little bit too direct for people, although that would be the way that I would suggest it because I always think it's how you say something, not necessarily what you're saying. So you are not being aggressive necessarily. You're being direct, but not aggressive. And you are trying to smooth it over as easily as you can, but you're also standing up for your friend that's not there that is being spoken poorly about behind her back. So you're doing the right thing, you know what I mean? And directly. However, if you do feel that that's really uncomfortable for you and it's just not, you're just not there and able to do that, then a good alternative would be to say, Oh yeah, talking about weight loss, weight gain, you know, I've gained a couple of kilos myself. It's really not easy. Sometimes that happens, but I saw an amazing dress when I went shopping in the mall last week and it's at this store. And when I tried it on, it was like I was my pre extra five kilo self. It was amazing. I think everybody should check it out. So hopefully by doing that, you have transitioned. You've, first of all, you've given empathy to this person they're speaking about because yes, everybody gains weight. I mean, it happens, you know what I mean? It's not, it's not an easy thing. I don't think unless you are underweight, nobody's really embracing that necessarily, but what you can do is take that and show that you're relating to it. So therefore maybe that will stop the negative conversation because if somebody keeps on talking about gaining weight, you've just acknowledged you've also gained weight. So therefore they're going to be insulting you as well, which most people would pick up on that and they would stop. And then you've redirected the conversation. So you have redirected it to a different, area, which is shopping, which usually if you're in a social setting, a luncheon kind of setting, people would be interested in talking about that and learning because who doesn't want to know of a really flattering dress? So that is a way that you can redirect the conversation away from the original topic, which was maybe really hurtful and not kind to somebody and gossiping and redirect the conversation away from gossip and back into a subject that is beneficial for everyone and positive. So those are my two suggestions on how to stop and then redirect a conversation away from gossip if you are in a situation like that. So thank you very much. I hope that was helpful.